Janeshwar, please unmute yourself. Thank you, Vinay. Uh, so I was saying a uh, very good afternoon to everyone. So objective of this webinar is right today uh, to get you people aware about uh, some of the, uh, the uh, verticals which are growing in industry and which can be a very good career part for the uh, people who are into like uh, pharmacy education or who are doing BSc biotechnology or MSc biotechnology who comes with the science background, who are engineers, who are uh, trying to pursue MBA, thinking of these types of programs. Uh, so not defined MBA, but uh, our, our programs are a little bit oriented for not providing the education, but only oriented to giving you the skills, the right skills, which are really need to work on this uh, verticals, which runs by consulting companies in India like McKinsey, Deloitte, BCG, Eversena, Z8 Associate, IQA. So our programs are oriented toward that so that you can directly go, you can directly go and start working it. Uh, these programs gives you a platform to get interviewed by the eminent uh, people in this industry. These programs give you a uh, scope of getting into this company uh, with good you know, salary package. So getting into that, again, I'm saying this is the, uh, so we will be discussing a couple of programs. One is the pharmaceutical business analytics and consulting, and second is the uh, decision healthcare analytics. So, yeah. So again, I'm saying that this is one of the uh, first program in India. You would have seen that a lot of business analytics program in Udemy, Coursera, but those all the programs are on the generic version. They are not uh, focused or oriented to any industry, but our program is completely for the healthcare and pharmaceutical industry. So because a generic program cannot help you because uh, you have a training background, you have education background of science. So you have to be focused. So that's why a program should also be focused uh, it cannot, any program cannot be generic for all the industry. Every industry have different sites of data. Every industry have uh, different uh, stakeholders. So their analytics part and consulting part is really uh, different. So that's why we uh, thought of, uh, Cleaning Minds thought of to bring this program and then uh, uh, asked me to tell good things about this program. So. We are here. So this will really enhance your career. So let me open a PPT and let me walk you through the unique features of this program, how this program will benefit to you. So I hope everyone can see this after tech presentation. Vinayak, you can see that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, as Vinayak has already told about the credential of the Clearly Minds, uh, so there's no doubt that uh, about the credential. So it's a, an ISO 9002015 certified company. So, so this is uh, industry's first academia program, which I was telling. Uh, which comes into pharmaceutical business analytics uh, programming jointly offered by Clemens, Thinkai, and industry experts. So we people like me and Vivek uh, just like to share our ideas right on these programs. And our goal is also to benefit people uh, so that they don't waste time. They are really ready, uh, prepared for the uh, taking jobs, taking opportunities in consulting industry. Uh, so objectives of this program is like Clinic Minds is committed to provide highest quality of skills, education, training and business solution and provide highly skilled job ready uh, talent pool for the global health science industry. So what is analytics and consulting? Analytics is not about Excel, R, Python tool. It's about providing the insights. There are lots of uh, data flowing uh, 
and one more thing i just want to say whatever i'm talking right now about the analytics data and all i'm talking in the pers perspective of us and european healthcare system and the pharmaceutical industry so in us there are a lot of data uh, flowing uh, within the pharmaceutical industry whether you say that it's a sales data whether you say that it's a patient level data whether you say that it's promotional data clinical trial data uh, the reimbursement data so a lot of uh, data is flowing in the industry so it's analytics and consulting is not uh, to just massage the data analyze it using r python they are just ways to do that but the real challenge is to provide the insights to different stakeholders like marketing directors very senior uh, senior uh, senior vice president vice president of different big pharmaceutical companies like uh, if you say boringer ilgam astrazeneca amgen so consulting and business analytics company uh, like zias ikuya works with them to provide them insights on various types of analytics and as the uh, the progress happens on the this slide you will see that very different types of analytics can be done on the pharmaceutical data so there are three types of analytics first is uh, prescriptive analytics so what is prescriptive analytics it's like enabling smart decision based on the data what should we do now and then there is a descriptive analytics seeing the past rate right? studying the data and seeing what has happened and then predictive analytics once you know what has happened what could happen and then what should we do right seeing the past predicting the future and correcting the course measures like a simple example of analytics is the forecasting in us and europe product forecast is not a easy task you have to you have to predict the forecast of your products like innovative products of different pharmaceutical company for 10 years so that uh, you are well sufficient with the budget you are well sufficient uh, with the uh, with the stock management supply chain uh, so that's why they do a forecasting so i am just giving an example of analytics uh, is the forecasting another example can be Uh, sales force and effectiveness lots of data comes from the uh, sales force medical reps like how many calls they are doing how many doctors they are meeting whom they are meeting who they are not meeting whom they should meet oh, like uh, one of the territory alaska had how many reps how many reps they should have how many reps they will give you this million of dollars of sales how many reps can you this million dollars sales how, where you should spend on detailing you should spend you should spend on conferences you should spend on cmes yeah you should so this is also one of the uh, uh, example of uh, uh, the analytics industry in pharma and healthcare so big data analytics this is a buzz world right now uh, you can see uh, in whenever you watch watch a cricket match or euros now in nowadays a uh, lot of advertisement of big data analytics are coming And they, from Udemy, Coursera, lots of big colleges like IIMs, ISB, they have a separate program for a big data analytics. But what is big data analytics? And, and uh, really, really, we need R, Python, and Tableau to solve those problems in the big data. So, big data analytics is right the data coming from the different industry. So, right now in pharma industry, the biggest data is the patient level data. other data can be solved on the excel uh, vivek when vivek tells you about the decision healthcare analytics he can give you more perspective on uh, how to solve the problems in the big data but really i am telling you r python sql are really needs use as a 10% in the complete analytics industry forecasting sap much of the things can be solved still still in excel so that's why we have two types of program the program i am talking about the business analytics and consulting which has minor part of uh, uh, big data solver like sql r python and the program which we will take we will talk about it have less domain and more into big data uh, side more on the technical skills so we have uh, two types of programs and for both the program audience uh, the can be same the students can be same the participants will it's all about where you are inclined right uh, so in this course what i am talking about 
So let's see the, how the future of analytics is bright. You can see this slide. It's a billion dollar industry right now. And it has to grow by uh, around the Kager of 515.3%. And it's a $76 billion industry it will be on 2023. And one more thing, uh, major of, majority of the uh, business will be driven from India because India has the right talent, uh, people coming from different backgrounds, um, statistical, pharma, doctors, different backgrounds people are there. And uh, business analytics consulting pharma industry is a blend of people. Uh, a doctor cannot solve the problem, business problem of pharma company, an uh, Excel person cannot be solved. All have to combine and do the analytics provide the insights, then only the uh, business problem of a pharmaceutical company will solve. So don't worry about this industry. Right now, if you have any friends in this industry, you can ask them, this is the only industry which is giving an increment of in double digits today. None of the industry is giving you the increment uh, in double digits. All the industry has a slowdown due to uh, this pandemic happening across the globe. But this industry, because as the business problems in uh, pharmaceutical arises, they have to solve their business problem. And then they start sending this business problem to various analytics and consulting companies. So that's why the business is increasing uh, day by day. And lots of people, skilled people are required in this industry, which have, who have uh, real skills, who can work and provide real insights uh, to the different clients. So if you see uh, in domestic market, like Till 2017, 14, it was a 163 million industry. Uh, analytics market is 1 billion. Job opening 35,500. Uh, uh, so don't worry about the, the replacement jobs. It's across the uh, uh, globe, uh, across India. And one of the finest things in this, this industry is right, uh, you don't need a personal presence sometime in the offices. Uh, so uh, when the pandemic came, this was the only industry which did not had to change their mind shift or the uh, to work from home because already a majority of this majority of the people have, would have been working in the industry to work from home. This industry gives you uh, uh, gives you flexibility to work from anywhere in the world because it's all about uh, crunching the data on the server on the laptop, making PowerPoint presentations. Uh, having a lot of Excel skills, uh, making presentations. So it doesn't need uh, to you uh, for uh, uh, physical existence uh, in the offices. So this is one of the beauty of this industry and salary. I can say that uh, after I end the session, Kalyan, one of our uh, last batch participant is there. He can throw you some real lights, how this program helped him, right? Uh, to get the job, uh, and he can uh, tell you really real insights because uh, me uh, and Vivek uh, may be vouching for uh, cleaning minds, but he's the person who went through the programs and he can tell you the real benefits. Once I end, uh, Vivek Kalyan can do. But uh, don't worry about the salary things. It is taken care by the industry because the industry, why? And I, it's not like that. Uh, why this industry is paying such a huge money? Because they, this industry is getting a huge money. They are getting the money in terms of dollars from pharmaceutical company to help them in the decision making. So that's why this is, industry is very much uh, flexible to give you good amount of money. Uh, and second thing, uh, this industry does not uh, believe in uh, yearly promotions, so a couple of year promotions. It's all about your skills. If you are a very skilled person, you come in a company, uh, and the people see that, yeah, yeah, you're a skilled people, person, you will be promoted two level more. There's no hard and fast rule in this industry that uh, you have to, after one year only, you will be become senior analyst from an analyst, no. So there are some uh, points. And one thing is that this is the only industry in India uh, which can send you across the globe, right? In America, Europe, if you already, sometimes you would have a wish that you want to be based out of US, Europe, this is the industry when you are skilled, we apply, or the industry applies to use visa, the long-term visa, so that you work in the client's offices, you work with them. And once you work with them, you have an opportunity on the H-1B visa that uh, if you find uh, your 
any one of the company in US pharmaceutical company like Amgen, anyone, uh, Amgen is an example, you can directly work on their payroll. But uh, till they take you, you have to work on the payroll of consulting company sitting in the client's office, sitting beside the client. You can, you can see how much rate uh, you can get the insights from a uh, marketing director of any of the big oncology company. So uh, these are the some real benefits of this industry. And this is a thing like slide, which is saying that analytic services and pharma led the back in higher percentage of analytic job being created in the Western nation. So, uh, because uh, pharma industry is not a simple industry. It's had, it has three different uh, very uh, stakeholders, which are very dynamic, like first is the doctor, right? Uh, then the, the patient, and then there are two peers and providers and uh, uh, right in US and Europe. Peers means uh, the people who are spending money for your medicine, the reimbursement companies, the insurance companies, and the providers like who are the providers mean you, you can call them doctors or you can call them hospitals. So there are three P's where the, the all the analysis in this industry revolves around. And I was saying that most of the jobs are in different cities. All the companies have different offices in different cities. But uh, seeing this pandemic, I think uh, one of the biggest thing in, in this industry has came that you can work from anywhere in India. Uh, if you are a good, good skill, full person, qualified, and your uh, supervisor thinks that you can work from home and you can manage the clients and everything, uh, I think the, in this industry currently, no one is going to deny you that you come to the office. Uh, some of the companies like which are into this industry is the Genpact, Accenture, Equia, Pfizer, you name any IT company, right? If you want to do, you just go to the Google, uh, put any IT company and they see, and on their services part on the website, there is a, a vertical life sciences everywhere. And they are into analytics, consulting, competitive intelligence, forecasting, every company. And the second thing, you can see the name of uh, the Novartis and Accenture and Mark. So these companies have started their offices in India. It's, uh, and those are the not offices which are into sales and marketing. They are the analytics wing, which they have started in India to uh, work with their global and the US headquarters for global and US uh, competitive intelligence, forecasting, analytics, Salesforce effectiveness. So this is uh, one of the uh, thing and other pharmaceutical companies also big companies are uh, will be present in India in the next two three years. So where are going they are going to take the people, right? They will take the people from different companies as they have a big pockets. Then demand will start coming from the lower side analyst side. So with respect to growth and job opportunities, this industry will never deny you uh, once you have the right skills, uh, right knowledge about this. Uh, this industry, which our code, which clearly minds codes provide you, right? They will, there will be lots of case studies done. Uh, there will be lots of workshop done on the Excel, PowerPoint, Tableau, R, Python, and then a lot of case studies. Uh, you will be having a detailed module on competitive intelligence, forecasting, Salesforce effectiveness, and then uh, you'll be having evaluations on the case studies, workshops from the trained people, and uh, thing is that uh, this program have various uh, trainers which are coming from the industry, right? And uh, the objective of all the trainers is not uh, money, right? Because they are giving, they are being paid very huge in those companies. They are, but so money is not uh, related to that. What, why they are into this course? Like me, Vivek, why are they into this course? Just uh, to give back to the students, right? Or the participant. What we have uh, faced challenges three, 13 years back, 14 years back, or the challenges faced by today people coming from MBA college. We do have, want to help people right, so that they can solve those challenges very easily and get uh, growth. Uh, lots of people like, who don't have an MBA, they, they don't get a job in this industry because uh, even their resume is not selected because they don't have those buzzwords or the right skills written in their CVs. So why? why they should be devoid of getting entry to this industry. Our thinking is that everyone ha has a, a logical, numerical ability. If they have this ability, why is they should not be a part of this industry, which is growing at a, such a good rate and providing a lot of opportunities. 
So that is our, our objective. Whether we we make or other trainers which come from the different industry, uh, they are here just to give back to the students that what challenges we have faced. You should uh, be you people should not face. And if you want to get into this industry, no one is there to stop you. Your journey, your growth, your passion. Uh, so, so some of the things which will be covered in this course, as I told, uh, in the scientific part, it will be deep domain knowledge, uh, knowledge about the U.S. and European healthcare structure, commercial quality, market research skills, secondary, primary, uh, forecasting skills, market assessment, segmentation and targeting. You should be having a consulting skill which will be provided, and then uh, skills on data analytics like SAS, SQL, R, Python, Tableau. And then literature review things, medical writing, pharmacoeconomics, project management skill, communication skills will be there. Soft skills lectures will be there, and how you should communicate with the stakeholders. And apti uh, aptitude test is one of the uh, interview process or the getting into industry. So we'll be focusing on that. Lots of tests will be given on that. So as I said, pharma business ethics course is designed to cater skill gaps. So again, I'm repeating this word, we are the enablers and we will make you a skillful person rather than a learner. Learned by person having more and more skills uh, has a tremendous growth in this industry. So we will make you, make you more skillful uh, rather than learning. Learned you people are, you have different degrees. So there is no doubt that you have the different learnings coming from different courses. Just here our objective is to make you more skillful uh, to get into this industry and uh, get uh, going in terms of growth in this industry. So as I was telling, these are the some of the topics which will be covered uh, in this. So these topics right now, uh, everything you'll be finding a jargon, but we have a very detailed module on everything. When you get into these courses, you can go through the great uh, syllabus, big syllabus in detail and you can take it on. But right now, uh, if you want to explore, see what companies are doing in this area on the Google, you will be answered by Google itself. You'll be getting uh, SAS, Tableau, Python, R uh, trainings on this. So uh, this was the one part of the, this is one program which I was talking about. Uh, pharmaceutical business analytics and consulting, which have uh, more into domain like forecasting, Salesforce effectiveness, health economic outcome research, uh, competitive intelligence, and uh, listen to uh, big data analytics. But other programs which Vivek will talk, it in, has more of this and a little bit of uh, domain. So uh, before Vivek starts, uh, one of the uh, participants of the last batch, uh, Kalyan, uh, uh, he uh, he will tell you, he will, for five minutes, Kalyan, if you can uh, just brief the participants, right? What was your background? What was your objective to achieve this program? What you achieved, right? And how do you uh, uh, rate this program in terms of content and everything? Sure, sir. Dinesh, sir, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. And um, good afternoon to everyone. And myself, Kalyan, I have um, enrolled for pharmaceutical business analytics course. And uh, my journey through this course was uh, pretty excellent and uh, which helped me to gain a job as well. And uh, throughout my journey, my uh, lecturers or the professor Zinesh sir, Vivek Rathod sir, all have helped me to enhance my skills. Uh, especially I was interested in uh, analytics, uh, domain forecasting. And uh, I keep on working on the content and uh, the lecturers are pretty important, the classes that that I attended on a weekend basis uh, were pretty interesting and I used to apply it on my job as well uh, when I was trying to do so I, I used to understand uh, even the each and every aspect of the job and that gave me an opportunity to even um, explore different aspects like Dinesh uh, said uh, Excel skills even the R skills Python skills this will help us in the day-to-day -day applications in the job and I'm very thankful to Dinesh sir and Cleaning Mind sir for providing me in a platform that helped me to get sail through the interview and uh, uh, that helped me to even enhance uh, 
my opportunities towards this pharmaceutical domain and uh, that that's it i i i would personally thank dinis sir because uh, he helped me a lot uh, in 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 the job journey and the career aspects and even um, even the content is pretty interesting uh, we start with the uh, pharmaceutical industry regulatory aspects and uh, ip domain and the lecturers are also pretty pretty much helpful in each and every aspect and the clinic man supported uh, me a lot uh, even in the content aspect uh, and even in the placement also they helped in my journey that was very interesting and very smooth for me to get and sail towards my journey towards the forecasting role that i wanted to prevail and i i'm i'm again saying that i'm very much thankful to dinesh sir for his uh, contribution towards my journey towards my aspirations and my goals thanks thanks till now uh, so vivek uh, you can uh, start on your part and then after that we can take the questions sure dinesh sir thank you and uh, just to add on to what kalyan said i remember him calling me like maybe two or three weeks back and he said uh, i got uh, i'm in process of an interviewing and i have got a case study and uh, i'm so like most of the consulting companies uh, of ask you to solve a case study and i believe kalyan did say that uh, the case studies or case oriented approach was taken uh, during our course Uh, did help him and looks like the output has uh, validated the same so thanks alan and i do remember that you are one of the most uh, active and question uh, like you are the giving asking most of the questions during the course so thank you so much okay um hi all i am vivek and uh, unlike most of uh, like most of you i was also i am not from pharma background oh sorry my bad like most of you i was not working in pharma background but i a pharma industry or consulting industry but i had aspirations to go there and unlike most of you my uh, background is engineering which is way too off from getting into anything related to pharma so what happened and what changed during my b school where in, in 2011 12 i did spend like a lot of money uh, getting into b school and there i came to know that healthcare is the sunshine sunshine sector because during 2009 recession uh, i was in manufacturing and i realized that uh, in manufacturing manufacturing company was earning in rupees and rupee was going further down so that's where i realized going to it industry is better because it industry earns in dollars and um, like most of the projects from us europe western europe comes to india so it's a good industry to go that's why i decided to go to b school and move my industry in b school further i realized that healthcare is a sunshine sunshine sector and in my b school uh, there was a consulting company cs which came in and i was not selected for the even though i was not shortlisted for the recruitment process of bs primarily because of my resume and this is what dinesh sir also said that in the resume how we are writing the resume what are the details given is the first gate to get you know gate means is the first criteria which hr see to even shortlist your resume or not to shortlist your resume so even if let's say i am having good experience in pharma but if i am not able to write that well or put that well in resume because i don't know what is going on currently in uh, in recruitment i may not get selected so maybe that happened and i'm pretty sure that happened that's why zs been short with me but still i had that aspiration to move to zs then for fast forwarding 3 years one of my alumni from b school was working in zs so i asked him hey and uh, abhishek his name is can you help me get into this industry so he guided me he told me vivek uh, in your resume uh, you need to highlight this this part of your career Uh, which was related to data which was related to analytics which was related to marketing and commercialization of a product so i highlighted that then came the dreaded part of uh, consulting industry which kalyan will also agree case study and guys we i think as indians in our entire life we never hear about case study and this is only during consulting we realize oh my god what is a case study cs had a 35 page case study 
they had given 45 minutes for me to understand it get answer and prepare on a whiteboard and be ready so that when the interviewers would come in 30 minutes i have to explain them everything and i am a person who is who i thought was very good in interviews but literally my palm started sweating and i was stammering when i saw that number of pages and when interviewer came and started drilling me on questions but somehow because of uh, good preparation as well as uh, on the spot thinking i could clear it and then next journey of almost 6, six to 7 years is in pharma consulting wherein i went on the other side wherein i interviewed many people i saw many resumes i saw i understood what works what doesn't work to so cut a long story short the way dinesh sir said that we are working in pharma consulting for so many years and and our main aim is that how can we get you the right get not get you but get you the right uh, information about consulting industry explain you help you learn how to solve case studies because pharma consulting is purely based on case study so that is our aim and this is what you will get out of the course so after the end of the course you won't be another vivek rathod in b school who couldn't get into gs and trust me uh, best part about gs was it is from my hometown in pune um, and it's consulting and they offered good packages but i couldn't get it from my gs i had to try another 3 years and then i got it or during the interview when a 45 page or whatever number of pages case study is given how to solve it you shouldn't start sweating right there and start stammering so that is what would be taught through this training and another part uh, to this is i'll take uh, a discussion slightly off topic kalpana chawla uh, there was a program about her and i think everybody knows about her she is an astronaut she was an astronaut and during her interview uh, she told to national geographic uh, this was of course a pre recorded interview or a historic interview she said that astronaut is not a profession all astronauts are something else by profession and along with that they become astronaut so she herself she was a computational fluid dynamics expert who could uh, understand uh, how solid fuels uh, work liquid fuels work and along with her other uh, of her colleagues are also like some are, are like flight engineers some are biologists some are uh, like scientific expert and along with that they become astronaut the same way everybody of you are let's say somebody has done uh, mba in pharmacy or uh, somebody have done r expert like somebody is a tableau expert somebody is a r expert so that is like you are the astronaut but along with that you need backing or understanding of pharma industry pharma data sets pharma data uh, then pharma business concepts pharma rules the fda rules are there then other similar uh, regulations are there then you will be the one who can go into space because you have this double expertise so this course will hone your skills in terms of your existing logic ability uh, analytics data and all that but along with that it will teach you what is pharma what is this healthcare industry about so i hope uh, most of the questions which are coming on the chat are getting answered a few of them which are specific to for uh, individual can be taken like you can drop an email uh, to queeny minds and uh, like we will reach out to you in person vivek sir will take questions in the end yes sure yeah so that's uh, all from my side uh, about uh, this course and why you should do it and what will you get after you do this course uh the next sir uh, i'm good from my side yes yes then sir you are there we can take questions or we have yeah yeah i'm there yeah okay just a minute i'll just uh 
we have one first question from Ravi. Um, what course do you suggest for pharmacy postgraduates and graduates to enter analytics? So with respect to the courses, right, uh, it's all about uh, different mindset, right? If you like numbers, if you like technology, you can go to uh, this is an analytics course which we will post talking again. If you have more inclination toward the uh, domain, uh, disease area, uh, mechanism of action, or uh, how the drug works, right? What are the new types of drugs coming in the world? If you are more interested into that, you can go to this uh, postgraduate diploma in pharmaceutical business analytics. And a couple of questions I also saw that the people are think, saying that I'm from a quality control background. I am into academics. I'm into like uh, production and having a three to four years of experience in those. So see, uh, this is right uh, analytics and consulting course, which requires your uh, domain knowledge too. So whatever ever you have been working the right, in the production, you have learned something, right? So those learnings cannot be defied that this is a different kind of industry. Those learnings will come from there and it will be imbibed in the work you will be doing currently. The case may be that you are new to this industry. So you would be treated as a fresher and may not be in terms of designation. G giving a low designation uh, every time is not a fresher, you say. Right. It's all about what types of learnings you bring to a different domain, different uh, verticals, different uh, domains, right? So, uh, yeah, you may be called as a fresher, given a post of senior analyst or analyst, but your learnings will never be defined. And these courses are well suited for the people right, who are BSc, MSc, in bi biotechnology, microbiology, engineers. So these all are cannot say that these are not going to help you right these all people are working into our industry as i said we have a blended team of people we need doctors we need epidemiologists we need excel experts we need uh, data science people so it's once when, whenever a project is done it is not done by a single-handed person it is a blend of team which all works into that so this is the Biggest question, right? Everyone is asked that I come from this background, this background. So from one, one of the answer, like, I would like to stop this question, right? Yeah, you are very much welcome to this course with any uh, degree. And this course will fetch you a job. That's what I'm saying. When, whichever course and how many years of experience you are coming with. Vivek, you want to add anything? Yes. Thank you. As I said, like the astronaut example, once you know what is pharma, what are the data sets. And in your resume, you write this, that you are an advanced uh, PG diploma in healthcare decision analytics, or you have an advanced PG diploma in pharmaceutical business analytics. This is your first entry. Like this will, what this will do is two things. First, HRs or those interns who work in HR department will look in your resume and this will help you to stand out when there are 10 more resumes in front of the HR or the intern and your resume, which will have this highlighted. That's the most important thing, first thing which will happen. Second is you will go through case studies and those will be mentioned in your resume as title. So during your interview, when interviewer drills you about all this, so let's take one example. You may uh, go through a case study of understanding how to, uh, <clears throat> how, uh, like, how, what all do you do during a drug launch? And this is something like a case study which will happen in one of these programs. So during drug launch, what are the steps? So, first step is you first identify the patient pool. How do you identify the patient pool of your drug? Second will be who are your target physicians? who will be writing this drug. So how to identify your target physicians? Third will be, how do you segment these physicians? Because in US, there are 10 million physicians. From this 10 million physicians, how do you come to, let's say, 50,000 physicians who are your targets? And from this 50,000 physicians, how do you segment them so that you only reach out to the first 5,000 who are high-value targets? How do you segment and say, who are my high-value tar target physicians, those 5,000 physicians? 
third thing which will tell you in this case study is what sort of analytics you have applied in getting to this number. And once you have this physician, what are the next steps? How are you going to reach out to them? So this case study, if you have written, that I have done targeting of uh, physicians and help in drug launch. So this case study, I know very well. And examiners ask you all these questions and you explain them in a more logical way in a, deep, in a proper steps along with real data. There you go. Like, as I said, like, so these courses are something which will give you two benefits. First is getting selected from the HR side. Second is giving the interview, giving you the right knowledge and right tools to understand it. And of course, once you join the job, you already have a need because you have gone through all this and then working in the job will be much easier for you and you will learn faster and you grow faster. Uh, I can, yeah, I can see some of the questions right now. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I'll take one, one by one. Can we do it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, next is, uh, I'm a pharmacy graduate. I don't have the coding background. Yeah. Yes. So uh, you have seen the tagline of Udemy right now. Coding is not required for the analytics. So it self answers that question. I agree to that <laughs> Udemy tagline. Yeah. So, so this program does not require any coding, coding experience. Yeah. You are a B farm graduate. Uh, your experience of the domain knowledge will help you to go into this industry. Sir, next is I am having more than five years of experience in clinical operations and regulatory affairs. Uh, will this be considered for analytics? See, again, I said you have five years of experience that your experience and learning will not be wasted. But uh, every industry has a hierarchy. So when you enter this industry, something will be new to you. So you may join as a consultant, which is a third level position. The positions will be given to you as a, with respect to experience you have, but on the one, day one, you will not be able to manage the team because this industry will be new for you. You will, in the terms of work and learning, you will be a pressure to this industry. But yeah, you have experience, so designation might differ for you. Yes. And that's so, how you Sir, we have one more question coming in uh, that, uh, so this is for all people with experience in clinical operations, regulatory affairs, mm -hmm. pharmacovigilance, what is their uh, experience consideration in terms of salaries? This is See, question. salary, um, uh, the, the pressure role salary or the analyst, senior analyst in this industry starts from like 6.5 to 7. So, but if you have more than that uh, and you have uh, got the skills, work, have given good interview, so there is no bracket for that. You will be given. You can be given increment on your last drawn salary, whatever you have drawn into your industry. One, one, yeah, one and uh, let me let me yeah, add yeah. Uh, to over here. So as I said, like 2015, I around 2014, I moved to pharma. So that time, I got almost 50, 40 to 45 percent hike. Primarily because of my uh, past credentials, but due to the and also due to data analytics experience. And after that, uh, due to some situations as well as growth, uh, personal growth, I made two switches. And every time uh, the switches have contributed to growth, primarily because during the interview, as I said, there are case studies, there are analytical questions. And there is impromptu thinking or impromptu questions which are asked by interviewers. If you are able to answer those, interviewer just gives a feedback, I need this candidate or go ahead with this candidate. And then to HR, it's always about the industry standard, which is 20 to 30% hike, which comes in. And also along with that, whatever you quote, there is some negotiation, but the basic bare minimum gets clear that 20 or 30% hike because interviewer has liked you. So it's all about the interviewer process, the entire interviewing process. In pharma consulting, most of the uh, processes, you first have an online test or a aptitude test. Second is a case study round. And third is the interview. And again, this interview is not typical interview wherein they will ask you about your hobby and they will ask you about our things and your past credentials. This interview is very focused, more related to pharma, questions from related to pharma. So those people who already have four or five years of experience, if you can attach that experience or rather if you can fine tune that experience more from a data perspective, how you use data in business decision making and generating insights, that is the key uh, moving to next job. And that's how the salary hikes get decided for you. Thank you, Vivek, sir. Sir, uh, there's a candidate, Anuradha, I've been 
touch with her. Nisha, she has got experience of six years in academics, so she yes. is planning to enroll in this program. So she needs some guidance on the job. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, uh, the same thing what Vivek said, right? Uh, be academician, be a uh, quality analyst, be a product management. It, it is going to take uh, your experience into account, and you will you can get a job even you are academics because if you are an into academics you maybe you must be very you must be having a very much good orientation of the uh, the different subjects like so it will be helping you there also right in uh, giving the presentations making the presentations so answer is yes yeah and in my previous company uh, we did hire like this is a personal experience uh, it's a small company of close to 150 people and there we had two people uh, during my uh, two years stay I know of who were from academics background, who were like masters in bio, uh, biotechnology. One was masters in biotechnology. The other person was, I think, biosciences or something like that. And uh, they had worked in academics for almost three, four years or four and a half years. And during the entire uh, hiring process, they cleared the hiring process and they got into the role. And then after that, uh, they are continuing in uh, this industry. So I know personally two people from a small set of uh, company, which was just 100 to 150 people who had hired two people from academics. Yeah. We have one more question coming in. Uh, how does, what are the positions in this sector and how, what are the salaries? So uh, every company has a different designations, but the, you uh, when you join as a fresher, you are called as a business analyst and you become senior analyst and associate consultant, consultant, senior consultant, uh, team lead, engagement manager, and the the vertical head. So salary when you join, it starts from seven to eight, and uh, there is no upper limit into this. When you become like vice president or engagement manager, it's all depends how, what was your journey, how switches you take, but it can take you, uh, uh, wake up, I'm not wrong, it can take you 12 to 13 years around. With respect to right now, inflation may take that, Ever, but right now, 13, 14 seniors have some experience. People are withdrawing in this industry around 70 to 60, 70 lakhs. Right, Vivek? Yeah. So, uh, like pharma consulting, how it stands different from the regular IT industry is that in IT industry, there are almost nine or 10 levels. And you can validate this with your friend. Uh, by then, you will reach the director position. Like you first start with they have something like D1, B2, B3, or A1, A2, A3, they call in cognizant or Infosys, and it goes on and on and on. While I can give you an example about ZS, the roles are you join as an associate, you become associate consultant, you become consultant, you become manager. Four levels, the fifth level is called as associate principal. You are actually partial owner of the company, and principal is where you become the partner or owner. Most of the consulting companies have a very lean structure and the uh, layers are very small. So you have good growth. And guys, salary is one part of being in consulting. Second part is every day you're solving real life problems. So just imagine your college times or your school times where every day you used to look forward to go to your tuition or to go towards to play with your friends or to go to school for uh, participating in that co-curricular or extracurricular activity and used to look forward to that. Same thing happens in consulting where every day you solve problems, every day you wake up in the morning, you start with your team, which is like your old gang and they say, okay, wait, you do this. I am at a senior manager level and I have my, uh, like we have associate who is just one and a half year uh, part of from college. But morning we meet and uh, his name is Raman. He says, wait, wait, and we will collaborate and give it out to client. So that's what everybody looks forward to work in this industry. Salary comes as a byproduct, but the main part is you solve problem, you solve real life problem with data, and every day you deliver it to client, and every week or every three days you have client interaction. This person who works with me, he's just one and a half year, and every week he talks with client who is like... Uh, senior director uh, based out of, of a big, big pharma company based out of US. He talks with him and he explains to him, 
hey, your sales reps are not performing well. This territory is not doing good. You need to do this three things. Uh, three recommendations are there from our side to solve that. So that is what pharma consulting, or even nowadays, if you come to India, most of the pharma companies have set up their capital center. Abbott has one, Novartis has one, Eli Lilly has another one, Merck has uh, its own center. So you get to work in this industry, in this company also directly in a commercial role or in a, a, a data science related role. Thank you, thank you, Vivek, sir. Uh, we have one more question. Is this program uh, for freshers also, B farms and MSCs? Yeah, of course. I said experience comes, you come with experience, uh, you have retail advantage, but yeah, freshers are, uh, we are floating the CVs right everywhere. So freshers are in being in demand in this industry. And there is, sir, I'll add things over here. So guys, if you remember how IT industry or forget, remember you research out how IT industry started in India during 95 or 99 period, wherein I was in uh, eighth or ninth standard. The primary thing which kicked off IT industry was availability of English speaking, smart folks who are very good in problem solving. Because we had lots of engineering colleges, we had lots of BSc uh, science related uh, colleges in India. And that was the time wherein, thanks to Britishers, uh, we were good in English also. So that was the main uh, push for the success of IT industry in India. And every year, IT industry was hiring in bulk from college. I remember during 2007, I was passed out. I joined l &T in manufacturing and we were nine people out of the entire uh, uh, like batch of, let's say, 100 or 200 who got hired in l &T. But Cognizant, Infosys, TCS literally came with a tempo, you know, big truck or something like that. And they just said, hey, we need 40 people. So, okay, you clear, you clear, 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 move on, bad job. So that was how IT industry was hiring pressure during that time. Same thing, I'll say, not in that big number because pharma is not that big. But let's say people uh, like Z, uh, all these pharma consulting companies are nowadays focusing on pressure because you guys are smart, you know everything, and you have that energy to work in. And we need people at ground level to do lots and lots of analytics. So this is a time wherein pharma is hiring in bulk, pharma consulting as well as pharma is hiring in bulk, and their focus is pressures because you have that energy, you have that perseverance, and you have that capability to deliver. The only thing is, out of all those pressures who are coming out of India this year, how are you going to stand up now? And to stand up in your resume, do you have something related to pharma? And last, just two months back, uh, we got close to 300 profiles. And what cutoff we had put was in the resume, anywhere if pharma, uh, data analytics, or uh, decision analytics, or data science related projects are there, we select them for the aptitude test. One of the yeah, one of the question asked that does it helps in the uh, internal promotions? Yes, uh, because suppose you are working in a pharmacobusiness department, right, or a pharmacoeconomics department in a pharmaceutical department, and you do this course, right, and you get the skills. The you then if there is any department in your uh, pharmaceutical company itself, they will of course uh, give you the opportunity to work there with the promotions and all because these are the same credentials. Why people are right now doing a lot of Udemy courses and all? Because internal one of internal appraisals happens. And the, the, the leaders ask that what you did to enhance your skills. So at that time, uh, you tell them that, yeah, I did this from Udemy, I did this from Coursera, I did this from Plenty Mind. So yeah, it definitely helps for you internal promotions if you're not looking for an analytic job outside too. Dinesh, we have one question came in. Uh, can I set up my business in future? What are the in entrepreneurship opportunities? Yeah, so one of the entrepreneur uh, opportunity, right? Uh, you can be uh, minds competitor, right? <laughs> and the second thing, uh, right? Uh, if you want to start uh, the, the work uh, into this domain, yeah, on any day, uh, you can start this very small uh, startup into analytics. Uh, vertical, you can reach to the different clients in 
uh, the followers yeah. and your in pharmaceutical company they and adding yeah yeah you yeah. adding to dinesh sir's point uh, just last batch of uh, three mind there were three doctors who are there and they have their own practice mm-hmm. so during the entire session uh, i was interacting and if i remember clearly dr nitin he said that uh, we take thanks for this what i have learned is that how data analytics is very important and it can be done in excel so this courses have taught me that i can do data analytics and that to in excel and i don't need rocket science a team of rocket scientists or team of people from tesla or google or facebook to do my analytics now in my own excel i am going to find out patients who have come uh, in the last 5 years i have that data and i'll segment them into different buckets so patients who uh, did like let's say teeth uh, tooth implants patient who just did cleaning of teeth patients who did this 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 and then i'll see what were the next subsequent treatment this patients opted for and that way i can create a uh, a flow chart of if a patient is of this set of criteria he is doing all these things if patient is of this set of criteria he is doing all this so any new patient comes going forward i can put them into four or five buckets and then accordingly i can suggest the patient next level of treatment which he should opt for the way amazon suggests you that hey if you have bought a monitor why don't you buy a buy a mouse as well as keyboard wifi keyboard because other uh, people have done it so these are the business opportunities or entrepreneurial opportunities you can have and also why not start your own diagnostics lab why not do that and get more insights and make it more real time make it more different than this and also as the research said analytics side there are host of opportunities and guys consulting companies are more or less like entrepreneurial startup every mm-hmm. team has their own targets every managers get their own uh, like uh, you know uh, annual appraisals and annual revenues based on and your cuts based on how you uh, your team as well as client has performed so in itself itself there are opportunities but outside also you can apply all these learnings and uh, create your own uh, businesses right so next question is on the tools in the program like sql python tableau mm-hmm. saas what are what the tools we cover in the yeah so as i and we we also mentioned we have two programs first is post graduate diploma in uh, business analytics and second day health care disease analytics uh, so in the first program like 60% domain excel ppt plus uh, 30 to 40% uh, the data science in the second program uh, the vice versa of the same uh, 30 to 40% of the uh, domain and uh, 60% to 70% of the data science okay okay sir the yeah the one about the sessions yes the sessions the questions all the sessions will be the live interactive yeah. sessions yeah every uh, session will be the live interactive trainers will be there so it's not like that you enter to the portal and you listen the video or hear the video no or there will be a live trainer with you live material with you live case study workshop so it's an interactive session in the weekends uh, saturday sunday it will happen and post that uh, we will be helping you the clinic minds have a big placement team so they will be helping you in making the cvs in the right format sending to the different companies and they will be managing the interviews and everything so the complete yeah. placement assistance will be there so and this is the unique selling proposition of this course uh, guys i have also opted for udacity course but what happens is when you go there you realize it is a trained like you know pre recorded video most of this are pre recorded you just you just take courses uh, or courses that are udb or even uh, good colleges not good but all the famous colleges courses are there they will have like 80% pre recorded or 70% pre recorded and 30% live here all the sessions which you see six months uh, all weekends will be live face to face and we encourage everybody to come on video who are uh, participating so it's like as good as sitting in front of the person and getting it going and it's not only session there are real life case studies which you resolve after the session for the week, entire week and then next weekend when you come back 
all this will be discussed and you become see one part is you have the certificate but second part is you get the knowledge you get the expertise which will make you also stand apart thank you thank you vivek uh, we have one more question from dr vin sood uh, that he has been working in pharmacovigilance in from last year uh, does it helps in promotions and hires yeah as i told you yeah, it helps that there that's it if we are done with the questions yeah so that's the program uh, advanced post graduate diploma in pharmaceutical business analytics and another is the advanced post graduate diploma in healthcare decision analytics the program is for 6 months and the batches are commencing on 18th of july it will be a 6 months weekend program the sessions will be conducted on saturdays and sundays for about 3 hours the sessions will be conducted on zoom uh, the program is approved by the life sciences sector skill development council under the ministry of skill development so one certification you get from government of india and one certification you get from clenemind which is internationally accredited by us then towards the completion of the program our placement department will start scheduling your interviews in the companies for the business analyst profile and the profiles in the in the healthcare decision analytics for no business analytics uh, whichever program you have opted for the batch is commencing on 18th of july shortly we will be sending you the course information on your email id you can go through the course information and contact us back there are two numbers uh, from of mine and mr rajesh sharma so you can directly connect with us over whatsapp or call Okay. Thank you, guys, and thanks, uh, Vinayak. Thanks, Kalyan. Thanks, uh, Viveki, uh, and uh, thanks to everyone. And look forward to get enrolled into this program. Uh, I'm not just saying because I'm promoting it. Uh, again, I'm saying me and Vivek are here to upskill you rather than selling this program. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dinesh. Thank you, Viveki. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, all.